That's for the bonds. I'm going to show you how to add up. Wake up, bonds! Wake up! Let's start 2021 with a math problem every day. Here's our math problem for today. Prove that the sine of the sum of two angles A and B is equal to sine of A cosine of B plus cosine of A sine of B. We have to prove that. Okay, so how do we get started? Well, since we're dealing with a trigonometric function, we should get started with a right triangle. All right, so here's my right triangle, and let's call this angle A. Okay. And let's say I have another right triangle on top of this. Okay, and let's call this angle B. Okay, so I have two angles. I have angle A, angle B, and my hypotenuse is going to be 1. And of course, these are right triangles. So let's go ahead and put the right angle marks right there. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, now we can say that since this hypotenuse is 1 and this angle is B, this side must be sine of B. Right? Likewise, since this hypotenuse is 1 and this angle is B, this leg must be cosine of B. Okay, well now we can keep going. Since this angle is A and this hypotenuse is cosine of B, well what can we say about this leg? Well this is simply going to be what? It's going to be sine of this angle times cosine of the hypotenuse. So sine of A cosine of B. Okay, and now we can conclude what this like has to be. If this is angle A, this hypotenuse is cosine of B, this must be what? Cosine of A, cosine of B. Okay, so now we have some, some lens going, but how do we prove that sine of A plus B is this, this monster? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw an auxiliary line. So I'm going to draw this line, and I'm going to cut off this part over here. So let's see what we get. If I draw this line and draw one more altitude right here, what do you see? Well, check it out. We have two similar triangles. These two angles are equal to each other and these two angles are right triangles. And so if this is A, this angle, this small angle over here must therefore also be A. And since this angle is A and this is a right angle, this must be 90 minus A, right? These are complementary angles. But think about it. If this is 90 minus A and we have a right angle here, this must be A. And so we've unlocked similar triangles. So this is A, this is sine of B. What can we say? Well, we can say that this leg over here has to be what? This has to be sine of B cosine of A right this leg over here must be sine of b cosine of a and now you can see where i'm getting at now we can find what sine of this angle is right sine of this angle is this leg plus this leg all right well let's see what that is sine of let's let's write it nicely sine of a plus b is equal to what well what's this like this leg is sine of b cosine of a sine of b cosine of a and what's this like well you can see what this like is it's sine of a cosine of b plus sine of a cosine of b and there you go ladies and gentlemen we've just proved the sum of angles formula for sines sine of a plus b is sine of b cosine of a plus sine of a cosine of b exact match exact match thanks for watching this lecture of math for once we'll check you out next time sponsored by brilliant.org Embedded plus MKO plus scaffolding equal learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. And science.